When Hugo was two years old, his parents discovered that he had autism, a condition that affects behavior and communication. Doctors told the couple to place their son in psychiatric daycare. Psychologists blamed them for his behavior. Psychologists who say you're making things up, or it's your fault, or that you've caused this condition because you've loved him too much, or not enough, you breastfed him too much, or not enough, we need to get out of this psychoanalytical approach. Today, Hugo attends his local school with a carer, but that's rare in France, where most autistic children have no access to mainstream education. On Saturday, families marched in Paris. They say the French state's treatment of autistic children is shameful and they want change. Putting children in psychiatric hospitals has to stop. It makes families suffer and the children won't develop. Campaigners say that France is around 50 years behind countries like Britain and the United States when it comes to diagnosing and treating autism. And one of the big reasons they say for that is that France still focuses very much on ineffective psychiatric treatments instead of educational and behavioural therapies. But psychiatrists say that they have an important role to play. When it comes to autistic children, you'd have to really ignore the facts to say that they are not suffering. When people tell me autism is just another way of being in the world or just a different type of intelligence, it really trivializes it. Mohamed Sajidi was so fed up with the lack of support and options in France for his son Sami, he set up his own school. The emphasis here is on behavioral therapy and integrating children into mainstream school and society. The new government must decide to break with the old system and create a new public health strategy for autism. That means extra money, new training and new methods, which some of us in France are already using. The United Nations recently condemned France for violating the rights of autistic children. The government says it's taking the matter seriously. It's preparing to launch a new autism action plan this month. But few people here dare to hope that it will provide the support and financial help they've been waiting for for so long. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.